Hello everyone, welcome to Scorcher Toys at AnyMoon.com's transformation guide for the future EX Gokin Garland as seen in Megazone 2.3. Today we are going to go from Maneuver Craft Mode back to Maneuver Slave Mode. I've got a transformation guide already going the other way where I keep the arms on the whole time. In this guide we're going to go ahead and remove them to simplify things for us a little bit. To begin, we're going to flip the toy upside down. If you've got Shogo on, you should remove him. He's not going to stay on there. You should also, if you've got a display stand, you can disconnect that. There are a hook around a peg on the arms. That's keeping everything in place. You may remember from when you got it in this mode. And what you want to do is just, there's this peg up front. You want to wiggle that so that's free. And then you can bring the arm out like so. Doing again on the other side. This is easier for me upside down, so that's why I'm flipping the toy this way. Free that front peg, and then just pull out and away from the body, and then you should get your arms to look like this, and we can open the prongs up on the front and bring them forward. We're actually getting those into maneuver craft position. Once those are free, you can reach a fingernail in and pop the wheel open. Now it's going to be a very stiff connection there. Once those are open, the arm will droop down like so. And you want to get, this is the uh, hinged prong that goes on top of the arm. You want to make sure you come down underneath the cowl with it and get that free. And now since you've got the ball, ball joint exposed, we can just apply a little bit of pressure and remove our arms and we'll put those back on later. Now we need to work on opening that rear cowl and what we're gonna do is just disconnect the uh, tank from the seat area here. We're just gonna pull up and forward and you can see the whole front of the bike can lean forward now. The rear seat, lift up the back of your vehicle and you can actually push that tire down a little bit and give some more clearance here and then you can pull forward on the rear cowl and get your finger in there and really pull forward with it like so. And then you bring your cowl up and pivot it back to try to avoid getting any wear on the edges there. You can see I have a little wear from doing this previously. Once you've done that, you can pull this seat back and up and out of the way. Now we can take on these pegs that are holding the legs in place and all you want to do is push forward to get that peg free and then bring the leg out and push that peg back inside the leg like so. And then we will repeat on the other side. Legs are free and we are ready to swing them into maneuver slave position. So what I'm going to do is just bring these gray pieces here down and out, which then allows the legs to swing pretty freely. We're going to pull this crotch piece forward and you'll notice the legs come with it. So get that straight, lift your toy up, spin it around and open up these flaps on the butt. And then we're going to bring the wheel down and you're gonna notice a lot of pivoting happening internally here. So I'm gonna bring this down. The, there's a hinge connection to the engine here that's gonna come back and we're just gonna help that out. That brings the whole body a little bit lower. And then we have pegs on this gray housing that the legs are on and there is a slot in the wheel and so what we want to do is get our legs straight and bring them into that position so you're gonna have to angle your crotch to be in the correct spot and then bring the legs closed and it might be better to do when looking from behind here so Get it all lined up. You want to do both legs at the same time. And you're just going to apply pressure and pop them into position just like that. Grab this upper section of your seat now. Fold that over like so. So there's a peg that was attached to a slot. It should just kind of fold over like that. And then your this body pivots right now. So what you want to do is bring, create some clearance so you can bring this piece down without scraping it against that front. And then once it's below it, you can pivot the body upward so that this piece comes down and pokes out the bottom. And this next step can be pretty awkward, so let's 
try to do it together and hopefully it works out pretty well for us. Uh, bring this down, get it out of the way. You don't need it for any of these steps. You're gonna push the whole cow back on the engine. So now you can see there's a good amount of clearance right there. Turning to the front of the vehicle, we're gonna start bringing the cowl down and then that's gonna allow us to take this windscreen here, pivot it forward and up and back. And then as we bring our cowl forward, it's going to have a good amount of clearance around that head. So we can just bring the head up, which is a little stiff here. There it goes. Got that head up nice and high, looking straight. And then what we want to do is get the front of the bike, the cowl, back into position. And there are a couple pivots internally that make this weird. So what I find it to do, best to do, is bring it up and then kind of press down. And you can see there it goes into position like so. Next, I'm going to take this part of the tank here and I'm going to bring it downward. It's got a couple little pegs that hold it in place, but it should move pretty freely. Once you get it here, you can rotate it and then it's on a hinge and you want to get it kind of down lower. Let's see here. Get that hinge nice and straight. Sorry if that was hard to film. I'm going to bring my legs forward uh, a pivot here. So they might be back like this, get them forward one pivot. And now what we're gonna do is create a lot of space and get this thing more into a uh, slave mode position. And how we're gonna do that is by taking the whole front section and pressing it down and back. And then that will bring this piece that we just moved lower and it's kind of lining up with where it's gonna have to be. And so you should be in a position like this. If uh, you can't get the body to pivot along that uh, section to get what was the gas tank back up against the engine, check your head, make sure, and your windscreen, make sure there's clearance for everything to move properly. Now we're gonna lock together the back. And it's a little tricky to do because there are slots up here. You can't really see things as you line them up and press them together. And they're in a bit of an awkward position in the first place. So what you wanna do Get this piece here, rock it in, so it looks like those pegs are gonna line up with the silver piece, which is exactly what you wanna have happen. And then you're gonna bring that red piece back and get it to peg in, which is you know, a little tricky. You gotta get everything in just the right spot. And so once you get it to about this position, you should be able to apply pressure inward and have things work out for you. So. Get that together. It does pivot both ways, so if it's not lining up, you can do that. But there it goes, locked into place. You won't need these butt flaps anymore. You can close those up. All right, now we're going to pop this lock open, extend the leg all the way out, push that lock closed, and it's gonna be very stiff. It's gonna fight you a little bit. And then come down to your foot. We're gonna open the foot up and we're gonna pull this little heel piece out. And what you want is your foot to be open to the point where the heel looks like it's coming away a little bit. And there is a little click. So let's get that out, get that out. Foot is in, heel is out. And then you can push these little circles out as far as they will go as well. And repeat all that with your other leg. Now I'm gonna pop my kneecaps outward. And I'm gonna take these pieces up here. I'm gonna flare them out. And we're going to try, let's get that all the way flared out like so. Bring it back without rubbing any paint anywhere. Get it into position. You should have a little bit of room with your cowl and it should look something like this. Your arm has a rotation point within it and you need to rotate that arm now so it's in this position here. And then we're gonna push up on our peg, flatten out the hand, rotate the hand, bring the hand back up and close it again. And there now your arm is in position oops, to go into the vehicle. And we can flip this up and over like so. And we are ready to attach the ball joint. Locate your ball joint within the uh, body there. Grab your arm and you're gonna line up that ball joint with the slot 
And you also need to make sure that this back tab here goes inside the cowl. So you wanna put that in there, get that ball joint underneath and into the position where it corresponds with the slot. And then you wanna be able to just press up and down at the same time. Now make sure your rear cowl stays out of the way because you don't wanna scrape that up. But there you go, that'll pop it right into place. And then this piece here is also in position. Now there's a tab on the back. We wanna tab that into the body of the vehicle. And again, you wanna make sure that this flap stays on the inside because once you do this, it's gonna be very hard to maneuver. So get that lined up, that tab up front in, and then we're just gonna apply pressure to lock that into position. And here you can see how that looks from the front. And we're gonna repeat all of those steps with the other arm. If you're gonna put Shogo in the cockpit, now is the time to do it. Otherwise, we can take our cockpit, our rear cowl, angle it in, bring it forward, and then angle it up as you get a little closer to get it past everything. And then we just push down to seat it properly. Then we can take our wind visor, bring that back. You need to push the head forward a little bit as you do this and that should cover that cavity perfectly. And then we just close these arm covers to completely conceal the cockpit. The arms have slots in them on this interior base. You can see that peg is gonna go in that slot there. So we're just gonna fold this over and it should lock into place. There's also a uh, little tab underneath that goes into a little slot on that side, uh, on both sides of the toy. But. There you go. So then your arms are in position. You can move them a little bit. If they're a little low, now is a good time to pivot them all the way up, but we've done that as an earlier step. So mine are looking good right off the bat. The last step you're gonna need to do is close up the front gap. So what you wanna do is press together and it's gonna take some little wiggle jiggle in here, but we should be able to, there we go. Push it down a little. It should lock everything into position just like so. Huzzah, we made it to maneuver slave mode. Now you can choose your own tilt of your body. There's a lot of weight. I find leaning it forward looks better and balances the weight better, but it's up to you. Do whatever you please. Should look generally like this. Fine tuning, you've probably pushed your kneecaps in, pull them out. Feet you're gonna have to finagle with. If this part pops loose, it's really key, so make sure you got that tightened back up. Hands, if you're maneuvering them, can pop free that little trap door. But that's really it, pretty minor stuff, easily handled. Uh, could throw this thing on the display stand now to make sure it's a little more stable. But go ahead, have your fun. Visit anymoon.com for my, for my full article. Subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.